and I guess it was him going, getting, becoming corrupted. But I don't know if that's true. I mean, like I said, it, it could have just been a mistranslation. But some things do point out to the fact that it is. We're going back to Japan. Some facts do point to the fact that it is actually War Mar I mean, Yoshiyama. Like the. Like the day Oromaru was born was the day Yoshiyama entered cyberspace. Right, classic games apparently. 80 games. 80 games. How come it's not plural? The game freak! Pinball! Is it Pokemon Pinball? Ah. So Oromaru jumps into their computer game. And honestly, this is one of my favorite video game screens ever. Now dance. I don't know. I, I don't know. So we're gonna play Galaxy Gunner. I'm guessing it's a parody of <laughs> Gradius. And this tests your platforming skills. Well, not this segment, but this segment plays out mostly like a a 2D space fighter. I'm really getting hit. And man, is this part of the stage hell of a hard. Not only do you got that bo got bottomless pits galore, but you got knocked back. And what does that spell? Getting knocked back into the fucking goddamn bottomless pit. And it's annoying as all hell. But yeah, you will die at least once or twice. But anyways, what I was getting at is, like, like I said, they could possibly be the same person, but I don't know. It, it's theorized, you know, it's rumored. And it could just be like a mistranslation from Japan Japanese to American. Anyways, use your bullet excel because that it'll come handy for the most part. Alright, here comes the harder part. And that's it, we're done. With this segment. Now this is where it starts testing your jump, your skills. Like I said, you want to at least have be charged because you can recover if you, if you fail. Anyways, look, it's these things again. It's presented by Galaxy Gang. Can it be you the Game Genie? Look at the score. Sorry, I was too busy trying to like do that one part so I'm pulling up the things. So there's a one up here, if you die you can constantly get it if you can make it back there. So infinite one up. It's like hey, this part's hard so we apologize, here's this. So yeah, I guess like I said, it kinda plays out like a 2D space fighter, like Gradius or not Galica, but I guess R type. But I, I don't know what, how this would. I guess it would dodge these things if it was a real shooter. But like I said, this test is your platforming like crazy. And like I said, they, it can help you recover if you have that. And with that said, we're done. But this is like a true, like, the true test of platforming. Like, of what you learned so far. How good are you at platforming? And welcome to hell. Or is this, um, what is it, Solus? No, not Solus. Oh, I forget the stage from Star Fox. The sun, but whatever. I I'll probably put a caption saying, uh, it's this one, you idiot. So yeah, welcome to hell. I like to say it's hell. So yeah, I guess you would probably dodge all these in your aircraft if you were playing an actual space shooter. So, yeah, this is this can be kind of hard because sometimes your gup, your gup, your jump can be gimped at times. At times it can. So you swear to God, you're jumping high now, but then all of a sudden you do like a low jump. But like, what the hell? All right, I made it. One more segment. But swear, I swear to God, my first time around, this was hell. Like literally, I freaking kept on dying left and right. Damn, I, see, like I said, your jump gets gimped at times. I don't know why. I don't know what causes it. I almost missed it. 
No, that's it, we're done. It's the most hardest platforming parts. Just smack those and jump over. Or you can sweet kick them. Yeah, don't touch them. Even if they're closed, don't touch them. You'll still get hurt. Get ourselves a one up. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I thought I would break the room. I'm guessing we're like sort of inside this. Oh no no! I was gonna say something else. It's more later on, but whatever. I'm guessing we're inside like the space base now. That would make me curious. If this was like a space fire, how the heck would you dodge those? I'm sure that you can take them out by sweep kicking them and stuff, but how would you dodge them if you're in a plane? <laughs> I don't know, but there's a bunch of S-Balls. It's like they want you to get a 1-Up. Alright, and welcome to the boss. Plays out like a real shooter, like a space shooter. Damn, I did it too late. What you want to do is do a flash arrow in the middle. Before he shoots his laser. Cause that's the only place I know where you can hit him. If you hit him too low, your flash arrow bounces off. I don't know about up here. Maybe I'll test it out. No. I think it's possible, but... You're probably gonna get hit if you attempt. I'll wait for him to come back down. He should die right now. No way, it's after this one then. I think he takes like five or four hits. And for the record, don't do what I did. I thought when you were done, you were supposed to jump down in that hole. Don't! <laughs> I honestly thought you were supposed to, but you're not. But you think he's dead, like, oh, what else are you supposed to do? Well, you travel through here. I'm guessing you're inside the game's program, or like the game's coding now. This part's a bit hard because these things come out of nowhere. Those weird flying things. It's not terrible, but mixed with the mist. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. There's like a little small misty, colorful mist that's going around. They kind of blend into them because they have like a they have like a transparent color to them. The little floating orbs. But they're not that hard to avoid. But you have to like pay close attention for them. But yeah, we're nearing the end of the game already. Only an hour and 30 minutes in. Oh crap. Like I said, knockback and bottomless pits are the most number one frustrating thing in the goddamn platforming. If you have no air recovery, then, then it just freaking annoys the hell out of you. At least with me, I hate that so much. It's like, oh, but I had the bullet. Like, XL, or full power volt, that was my fault, I should have jumped out. It's like, oh, I had the full power volt XLR, but, I mean, yeah, but nope, since I'm in my knockback state, I can't recover. It's like, that's stupid. Screw you. It doesn't help that my TV's kind of dark for some reason. Like I said, it's bugging the hell out of me. And yeah, I can still play, it's just... Pretty dark. I don't know why. Maybe I don't know. Maybe my TV's just getting old. Alright, let's get that Volt XL again. Or maximum power if you will.
Yeah, like I said, we're, we're nearing the end already. Oh, god damn it, I was gonna get knocked back. So yeah, like I said, I like max power, you can... God damn it! I swear to god, bouncing around fucks you up too. It's like the glo- this- this- ugh, it's bullshit. Fucking recording curse. Oh, hold up. Well, if you hold it for pause, she, ac she actually says, let's go. Interesting fact, I should have pointed it out, er, that out earlier. What the fuck, man? Come on, I've done this many times, fall flawlessly. I apologize for the random s amount of suck. I'm just hoping my hands are getting sweaty. Bullshit. Excuse me if I do go quiet, I'm trying to focus. Cause I had enough to hear what's done. Already died enough. So I'm not gonna be able to break the twenties in lives. I was close. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm happy that you can have max power. Cause then you can infinitely infinitely use a flash arrow. What the fuck was that bullshit? What the hell? Why is it bouncing me on different directions that shouldn't be? I'm sorry, I had to run my eye. This is annoying. This is frustrating. It's like it's not the game now, it's just like retarded things like that. It's like what the hell? We're pretty much done with the hardest part of the game. Did I just phase right through that? Like literally, like the hard part's done. It's just bullshit on my end. So yeah, like I said, I apologize if I go quiet. I kinda just wanna get this done now. There's no more fucking around. It's like enough to talk more action. Man. It's not me getting screwed over by my own moves, it's the fucking knockback. No! Okay, I panicked. I'm about to get another one up, so that's good. Come on, let's go! Fuck you! Alright. Yeah, I saw some more S balls. We're finally done! That segment. Oh, it's this part. I like this part because it's like they know you can infinitely use the move as much as you want. It's like, oh, we know that. So it's like it's pretty much intending for you to abuse it. Only downside is that uh, the bubble things are here. So they can be annoying. There is a heart piece, or uh, maximum, or a health restore on that side. The other side has uh, the way you're supposed to go. I'll take it. And let's move on! This should be done, we should be done with this part. Oh, it plays the song that reminds me of Chrono Trigger. It's like, instead of being the end of time, it's the end of cyberspace. I don't know, that's what I get to feel, that's what I get reminded of. You're wondering what's all the way over to the left, it's just another asphalt. But it's like, blocked by a... By a... Excuse me, I'm trying to, I'm starting to draw blanks. It's blocked by a bubble monster. 
bubble ding. Or an un uh, unknown, if you will. You just be careful, there are spikes. The red glowing things right there. Hitting cyberspace is... Explosive spikes. Explosive spikes. That's the one thing about using the bold Excel here, is that you can't see. So everything dims to the color of the vault. To the color of the... Stage. I really just dash from here. So like I said, it's like they really don't want you to use it. Just use those those power bomb type things and kill them off. There's health up there if you want it. It's a bit tricky. Oh well. I think there's another health a little bit later on. Yeah, it's right there. Yep, yeah, we're pretty much on the final push right now. We're just about done. Ooh, and... And I don't know why I'm not there. Oh wait, it's just a bunch of spikes over there. If that's it, we're there. Alright, this part's a bit tricky. Just pick a side and attack him. To draw a little war ma mayas, yamayayas. Just pick one side and let the other one come to you. Ah, oh, bullshit, I swiped at it. I might. I died. God damn it. I always perfect this. If there's too many on screen, they'll. it'll actually hold for you. I apologize for that. Like I'm always good at perfecting it. Alright, come on, no more fucking around. They're like little babies though. Little war war, war yamas. But all they do is jump around, so they don't do anything like a move or like an attack. Alright, just one more wave. And with that said, we're done. For now. You ready for the final boss, people? Whew. Ooh, galaxy game. Spam his hands, that's all you really need to do. Just be careful of his projectiles. There's usually a... Damn it, there's usually a spot you can hide before, without him hitting you. So he tries to power, I mean spirit bomb you, so just be careful. One hand on. Ah, bitch, I was gonna jump, but it, since it jump makes you, since the shake throws you up a bit, it fucked me up. It's like I swear I... I've actually perfect this like twice or maybe three times already. Alright, all you have to do is destroy his, his last hand and then you're done. Honestly, you don't attack his head at all, really. Oops, I shouldn't have jumped into him. That said, he's, he's down, we're done! We beat the game. You'd think you would have to attack his head, but nope. Now watch as everything explodes. But that, that was it. That was the final boss, believe it or not. It's pretty simple once you get the pattern down. But once we're joined, and now we're joined with Miss Lisa 
office of the secret organization, Galaxy Gang, has just been destroyed. However, it is unknown if Pulseman was harmed in the explosion with Dandas Wadiyama. Could this be the end for Pulseman? Could it? Psych. Here I am. He's right there. I like how she doesn't move her mouth. So that's it. That was Postman, ladies and gentlemen. And that was Lisa. I can't think of her last name. I apologize. It was. Uh, I think it was Wine Heart? I don't remember. So that said, we load up the Postman staff. And well, to be honest, it's the shortest credit screen ever. Because literally, it only lasts like two minutes. So we get to see. Tokyo, I guess, with Pulse Man and Patrice. I mean, Beatrice. I apologize. From Sega, I think you see Game Freak in the background. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I had fun. I, I actually enjoyed it. I, I like this game. Like I said, I was having trouble, but chalked it up to the recording curse. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's a, like I said, it's a fun game. It mixes like Sonic and Mega Man for the most part. You get the sense of platforming and speed, and you kind of feel like you're Mega Man, because, well, his name even has man in it, so. But, um, like I said, the credits are pretty much already over. Special thanks to you guys, the viewers. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you guys had fun. Don't worry, I'll probably draw some more late in a bit. Cause they're pretty much already over. Well, I have a small segment right now about what I think, or a little bit more into it. Made in 1994 by Game Freak and Sega. I said I'm in reverse. But yeah, that's the, that's Pulse Man. Um, like I said, I enjoyed it. I like the music. The music's pretty catchy. Man, I'm I'm kind of impressed with the like the graphics and the pretty like flashy and shiny not shiny but like flashy and like colorful. And like with all the voice and all the stuff that's thrown out there, I was like, damn. It sucks that it was like 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 towards the end of the sake of Genesis's genocide's lifespan that it probably could have had an English release. But it didn't. But would I recommend that you guys should go play it? Yeah, it's a pretty fun game. Mind you, this small learning curve, but it's pretty to over overcome. Cause I know I failed on my first try. But yeah, it's a pretty fun. I would I say you guys you guys should get it. It's for the Wii. I forget how many points. It's probably a, the standard amount. Uh, probably like four hundred Wii points. Um, cause pretty much it's the only place you can get it right as of now. You can't like. If you were to try to eBay it or something, I think it goes for about 50, 60 bucks online. And plus you would need like a, wouldn't you need a Mega Drive to run it? Or, or is all the, or all the Genesis's, or consoles, region free at that time, but whatever, I don't know. So yeah, go and try it out, it's a pretty fun game, I'd recommend it. But this is the part where I would say, hey, Next time we meet in the Pulse Man universe, but unfortunately, this is the last Pulse Man that was out. So, I mean, this is the last, I mean, the only Pulse Man that's out. So, I can't really say anything, and that's it. Um, I guess I could just say, would I like there to be another one? Yeah, it'd, it'd be pretty cool. It'd give Game Freak another franchise instead of Pokemon. But it'd have to be done right, you know? It, it can't be, like, screwed up by modern standard. I guess they can go, like, the Mega Man route. Where how they made, like, Mega Man 10. And it was, like, a retro. It was, like, a retro of Mega Man. Of, like, how Mega Man 10 was retro of Mega Man 1. They could do that. But, like I said, it depends on how it's done. I wouldn't mind seeing, like, another Pulse Man. From sometime from now. But... With that said, uh, I might make a second, like I said, I might make another part where where it talks about 
the references in Pokemon about Pulseman. I could possibly do that. That's something I might do. But with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. I'm Donut. Um, this has been Pulseman. If you like it, go play it. But with that said, I'll catch you guys around. Have a nice day. See ya.